Hi guys and welcome to the vlog. I look crazy right now because I do not have an ounce of makeup on my face but I'm actually filming a morning routine today in a little bit so that is why I don't have my makeup done yet. Steph's gonna come over and help me film in a little bit which I'm so excited to do and I'm gonna put my makeup on in the video so that's gonna happen very soon. I took a shower this morning. My hair is air drying. I have like very like I don't even know, like side swept esque bangs right now. My hair is drying like a weird way. I am currently wearing my favorite sweatshirt ever hair. Come on. This is from Jaw Breaking and it says blogging is greater than jogging and it's so soft. So I'm very excited. Today is a very busy work day for me. I have some work I need to get done. I have a lot of filming I need to do and a lot of editing I need to do. So that is mainly what my day is going to consist of. But I wanted to start off this vlog with something exciting. So today I'm working with Best Fiends to bring you guys the vlog. I am so excited. You guys do not know how long I've been meaning to play Best Fiends. All of my friends play it. I'm not kidding. Like not only just YouTube friends, but like Steph loves it. Like everybody loves it. That is in my life like every day. So I hear about it all the time and I've been meaning to try it forever. I started it last night. I am obsessed. I stayed up to like 2 a.m. playing it. I'm not kidding. And I woke up this morning and played it some more because it's addicting. So if you guys don't know what Best Fiends is, it's a super, super, super fun game that you guys can download or an app that you can download. And Best Fiends is kicking off summer with a very special gift on Sunday, May 29th. So be sure to download the game. I will have the link down below. Just click that, download it for free. It's completely free and then play on the 29th. I'm hitting this box. <laughs> play on the 29th to claim your gift. There are over 500 levels and they update every three weeks with new levels. So it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I personally started last night, as I said, and I'm only on level 20, but it is so addicting. I don't know about you guys. I I'm gonna just show you the game. So here's the app like this. Welcome back. Thank you. Here I am at level 21, basically. Start. All right, I came behind the camera to make it easier for myself. Daisy's there, she's just watching me. All right, so all you have to do is just basically connect all the like little symbols together. So see the little leaves? I just connect them like this and you can go diagonal or horizontal or vertical and then that's it, and you're basically trying to defeat these little slug guys. It's so much fun. My mom is so into games. All she does is play on her iPad every single day, so I think she's gonna really like this one. Actually, I really should tell her to download it. In all actuality, she's really gonna like it. So I'm basically trying to defeat these slugs, and then I also have to get the mushrooms and the little water drops. Now, before I continue on with the vlog, I'm gonna finish this level because I wanna win. Look at this one I'm about to get. Ready? Yeah! Oh, okay, this is my favorite part. After you finish every level, you get like a certain amount of keys and then you get to pick to open which doors. I'm gonna do this one. This one. And ah, this one. Yay! I feel very accomplished now. So, as I said, the link will be down below. Go download it, you guys. It's so much fun. Seriously, I'm going to tell my mom because I know she'll love it. I'll give you guys an update when she starts playing. All right, guys. Steph should be here actually like any second now, but about like 10, 15 minutes ago, I got this package in the mail. Not in the mail. The UPS guy came to my door. I don't know what's in here. It's from Benefit, and it says something about magically transforming brows on the side. So I'm guessing it's something to do with brows. That was probably a very dangerous way to open the package, but I got it. Ooh la la. Oh. Only I would be impressed with the foam. <laughs> ah, okay, I don't want to look at that. I want to surprise myself. Ta-da! Introducing the new Benefit Cosmetics Brow Collection. Cute. Oh. Oh my god. I'm screaming. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It looks like a little, like pinball machine you know when you like pull the tab at the bottom and then it like shoots the ball up <laughs> oh my god so cute their packaging is amazing it kills me okay what do we have in here we have a do not eat packet goof proof brow pencil amazing use your key <laughs> cute it looks like a little baton some conditioning primer we've got oh i love gimme brow a gimme brow product and that's everything in this box so cute. Steph, come look at this packaging. I am now going to Snapchat this. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you should, so you can get updated about stuff live. Here we go, ready? So I just got the cutest package from Benefit. Oh, look how cute. Oh my God, oh my God you scared me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did I really scare you? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought you were so quiet. I thought it was Daisy. That was a little traumatizing. Did you get that whole thing on camera? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, my name's on it! <gasps> I just realized! 
Oh my god. Oh, Daisy May. Okay, guys, we are now going to start filming. I will see you guys very soon. I'll probably catch up with you guys after we finish filming the main chunk of it. <coughs> Bless you. Cough. That was a cough. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. So, next day, yesterday, after uh, Steph came over, we filmed my morning routine and then we kind of just hung out and I ended up just staying up till 5 a.m., I think it was, editing. I stayed up till the sun was rising and then I fell asleep. So, I was up all night editing, but it's the next day. Look who's back. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. Look like a toe. So, I'm currently going to go take a picture for my Facebook with my Skechers on. Can I just say, that these are the most comfortable shoes ever. I made Steph put them on. Am I right, girl? Yeah, girl. They're really, really comfortable, seriously. So I'm wearing them, and we're getting a really fun picture. We're going up to the roof. We're gonna go down on the ground, and then Steph's like, wait, Remy, we should go on the roof. So we found this roof like a few days ago, and it's so fun. Okay, let's try. I don't know if we're allowed to be up here, but the door is open, so. From right there to right there, walked across, shimmy down that vine. Shimmied. Then we'd be fine. Shimmy. This probably is very not allowed, actually. Well, you know what? It's easier to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Um, I don't know about that. Look at this beautiful view. What if you hit you like on that right there with the palm trees? We've decided to change angles. I'm moving you this way. Mission accomplished. Now we're gonna go try on the street as well. Yes, my beautiful photographer. Thank you so much. Where are you? Where'd you go? I'm here. I'm here. This way? This way? I'm there here. you are. <laughs> I couldn't find you. Come on, ladies. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Oh. I almost died. Okay. I was watching it through the camera. All right, Steph's excited. Feel she found myself. some shrubs. Feel myself. Feel myself. Feel myself. Thank you, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm taking the stairs. Steph's gonna take the elevator and we're gonna see who gets there first. I'm just taking a nice leisurely walk. Good morning, guys. So it is the next morning and Daisy and I are in my room right now. Aren't we, Nuggy? So today is a very exciting day. I'm about to head out the door because I'm going to the animal shelter today and volunteering. I'm very, very excited. I'm meeting up with one of the girls from my management company. Her name is Desiree and she's super awesome. She saw my, I think it was like my January, like New Year video or something like that. And I said how this year I really wanted to get more involved and go volunteer at the animal shelter more. And she told me she saw it and she volunteers at an animal shelter out in Beverly Hills and asked if I wanted to come and help with her and I said absolutely so I'm heading out there it's a bit of a drive but I'm very 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 excited after that I have to come home because I have my Skype group chat today which I cannot wait to talk to you guys and then after that long day I have a couple errands that I need to run and then after that I am touring an apartment tonight believe it or not it is time to start looking for new apartments already because I've been in this complex for almost a year which is crazy so I'm gonna go I'm going to pack my bag and get my phone and everything and head out the door to the animal shelter and I'll see you guys when I get there. Bye! Honestly, I might come home with a new dog today. I can't, but I might. But I won't, I promise, Mom. I'm sorry. I'm here. This is so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Oh my God. Oh, this is Tom. And did you know that all cats that are solidly orange are always boys? Really? Yes. If they you have no white so on them, they're cute. all boys. <laughs> Cookie had pneumonia. And Cookie, Cookie, had, Cookie. To be, and Cookie <laughs> had to be uh, vaporized with a little vaporizer Hi, three Cookie. times a day. Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ralphie. And, I'm glad uh, you're making Coco a recovery. Coco is a dog that we met through the Spay Mobile. And Coco, Coco had a, oh, it had a oh, fracture. Oh. FX stands for fat. Hi, Marie. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> We're taking Hi. Gabby for a walk. This is Desiree. Hi. Look how cute she is. Oh, she's adorable. This one is me. They're so little. How old are they? They are about four weeks old. <gasps> oh my god. 
they are very typical of what you see at the shelter. Oh my god. This time of year, the city <laughs> literally has thousands of little kittens. Oh my gosh, this looks like a calendar photo shoot. I know. <laughs> you are so cute. <gasps> what kind of cats are they? Uh, oh, you're so cute. Ones? <laughs> <laughs> this one is a little Siamese mix kitten. Oh my gosh. And this is a tabby kitten. And this one is a mixed uh, tortie. Oh kitten. my god. Oh, I love the markings. They're so yeah. cute. I want to yeah. These are so cute. I wish and I they could all take need homes. Aww. And we also need foster people. Please. Someone kittens. adopt all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor's office. Oh, the dog. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That cage. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who that is. That's right, though. That's a, it's a really cute puppy. It's completely potty trained, too. This is the cutest kitten I've ever seen. Look at it. <laughs> he just stays. Look at that face. Oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> oh, these ones oh. do have names. Heidi. Heidi. I guess this one oh doesn't. She doesn't have a collar on. They're so fluffy. <laughs> oh. What a great day. You guys. That was the best experience of my life. This is the Amanda Foundation Animal Rescue out in Beverly Hills. I highly recommend coming out here. First of all, as you saw, I got to play with like the cutest dogs and kittens. I got to see all the dogs and all the kittens and everything. And it, that was fun in itself. Even more than that though, I learned so much. Oh, there's some people looking at me just vlogging. It was such an amazing experience. I'm gonna be back here all the time. They're open up 365 days a year, even on Thanksgiving, New Year's Day. They told me all this. Open from nine to five. And the first Saturday of every month they have orientation. So if you guys live in the area and you want to come volunteer, just come. It's a 45 minute orientation process. You do that and then you can just come whenever and walk the dogs and just get to play with them and like take them out in the yard and stuff. So it's so much fun and I just like my heart's melting. It was so great. I have like fur and hair all over me, but it's worth it completely. I took a Claritin this morning, so my allergies are like fine right now, which is great. And I'm going to hop in the car and I think I might go see my aunt at the hair salon. She's over getting her hair done by Grace. And then I have my Skype group chat. So it's all playing out. There's another man staring at me vlogging, but that was the best experience of my life. And thank you so much to Desiree for inviting me over here. I had so much fun. Also an amazing thing that I found out they do is they actually take a big mobile vehicle, like an RV size it looked like. Maybe I watched a video on it. They showed me an awesome video. And they take it to a part of LA that has a lower income where a lot of the people can't afford to spay and neuter their animals or have correct health care for their animals, which is obviously very, very important. So they start at like 7 a.m. and people bring all their cats and their dogs and and they give them free neutering and spaying and they give them checkups and just everything to make sure that they're okay and they're healthy and by spaying and neutering that means that there's gonna be less strays on the streets which is absolutely amazing and I think that's a great thing that they do and that's definitely a focus that they have which I learned a lot about and I think it's amazing I'm gonna leave everything for the Amanda Foundation down below go check it out you guys even if you just read it it's great and I would really appreciate it and I'm sure they would too so I'm gonna go I'll see you guys soon I'm rambling bye hi you guys so it has been so time my apologies I actually just hung out at the hair salon with my aunt while she was getting her hair done and grace because my aunt and I go to the same hair girl she is amazing and perfect and I love her and she hired this assistant who I'm obsessed with as well so it's just fun we just all hung out and now my aunt and I are gonna go to dinner you guys I love Megan Trainor's new song all right guys I put you on a car mount I can't tell if I hit record so here's hoping that I am I'm currently following my aunt and I have a story for you I left the animal rescue and I was driving to go meet my aunt at the hair salon but before that I had the Skype group call so luckily I was able just to do it on my phone I was so excited to talk to you guys and I was driving and I got really lost and so I was planning on getting to the salon before my group chat so that I could use their Wi-Fi and I could just do it from the salon and be like really easy um, but I got lost so I was driving around at like 225 and the group chat started at 230 so I needed to basically like park myself wherever I could find and and do the group chat from there because I didn't want to be late. So at like 2.25, I pull over to the side of the road and there's like parking spaces on the side like of the busy street. There's just like in one of the lanes, there's parking spots. So I parked and there's a parking meter. So I get out, I take my credit card and I go to go pay for the parking meter. And I put my card in 
and I guess I just accidentally pushed my card too. Oh, my aunt's switching lanes. Okay, she's going to the right. So I put the card into the slot and I guess I pushed it too far in and it was basically stuck in there and my nails, as you can see, are pretty long. I was trying to like take it out and my nails kept like slipping on the card. There was only like a half of an inch maybe of the card sticking out. So I was like trying to grab it and pull it and like my nails wouldn't grab it and I looked like an idiot on a huge open street where there are tons of cars. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I can't call my aunt because she's at the hair salon. Like who's gonna help me? Like I can't, my nails are just like, it makes it impossible to do that. So then I'm just standing by the parking meter looking like an idiot. Speaking of idiots, some people do not know how to drive. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, my group chat's gonna start in a minute. What am I gonna do? So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get my phone. I can't leave my card here. I'm just gonna get my phone. I'll just do the group chat from the meter until someone can come help me. And then luckily in the distance, I see this woman coming towards me who's walking with a stroller, with her stroller and her baby. And she's on the phone. And I was like, oh my God, I hope this woman's like nice. I was just like, of course this happens to me. So the woman's like walking up and I see her like pushing her stroller and I'm like, excuse me, like, I'm so sorry. I, um, I don't mean to bother you but I explained my situation and she's like oh of course like I totally understand like let me help you she's like I know how much help I'll be though because she shows me her nails and she also has long nails hers were a little bit shorter than mine mine are like kind of pointy hers were rounded and so we're both standing just two strangers and a baby on the side of the road trying to get this card out of a parking meter while I'm stressing out about my Skype group chat and I'm like oh my god what's happening and so she's trying and I'm trying we're both just like oh my god and then finally because hers were a little shorter she was able to like take a top finger and a bottom finger and like touch the card and then pull it out so I got very lucky I said thank you to her like a million times and she was so so sweet and then I was able just to get in my car and then do the Skype group chat right on time so that's what happened that's just my life I'm now at the Westfield Century City Mall and we're gonna get some dinner my aunt wants to go to this place called Gulfstream which is like a fish restaurant I believe and I'm a fan of the fish so we're gonna see how it goes also I didn't tell you guys I will not be touring the apartment complex today because the unit that I'm interested in is actually not available until a little bit later so I am not going today but actually Hillary's sister lives in the complex and she lives in the same unit that I am very interested in so on Monday hopefully um, if she's free she's actually going to let um, Hillary and I go stop by and I can check it out so yes that's gonna happen and when I actually go take the real tour of the actual place I will be sure to bring you guys along and there's a lot of other ones that I do on a tour I want to definitely do my research and everything before I make a commitment so that's what's happening I'll keep you updated and I don't know where my aunt's going I hope you can even see me I'm not exactly Exactly sure and I have no idea where my aunt is going right now we're passing so many spots lady oh I see she wants to park here all right if I was you I'd wanna be me too I'd wanna be me too <laughs> yay okay let's go to dinner I hope I was recording this if not that sucks oh my goodness okay we just got our dinner I got some sea bass with a bunch of other stuff ma'am what are you doing? What are you doing? Are we watching Auntie Caitlin? Hi guys, so I'm back home now. I just wanted to hop on and end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!